Welcome back, Bears. I'm Zach. And I'm Audie, reporting from the BTV studio. This past weekend at South Sand Bobcat Classic UIL competition, <coughs> Jacob Buble placed second, Jacob Parker placed fourth, Zoe Romo placed fifth, and Hannah Lanky placed fourth in the prose and poetry con category. Way to go, Bears. Poets. Last week, 2019, Lydia and I had a tremendous turnout. Many took home free books, played computer games, took part in storytelling, or made buttons. In this eventful evening, Students ran all the activities and different clubs from across campus came together to support the library and literacy. Take a look at some highlights. Big shout out to our track teams who did great last week at the Northside Invitational Medica Stadium. Our Junior Varsity Bears <coughs> placed first overall and our Lady JV placed second. The Varsity Bears also placed first with our Lady Varsity placing second. Good job Bears and good luck today. It is that time of year again. Prom tickets go on sale March 4th for $75. Seniors, if you owe any fines for books, money, for fundraisers or athletics, Please take care of this or you will not be able to buy any prom tickets. Ms. Linda Howe wants to remind all of class of 2020 that all fundraising money is due on or before Friday, March 1st. They can turn in to her at E241 or Ms. Martinez at C239. The scholarship chairperson for the Randolph Spouses Club or RSC on Randolph Air Force Base wants to make their seniors aware of their scholarship for high, graduating high school seniors in Bear County. If interested, go see Ms. Science in the Career Center. You can also ask Ms. Science about the 2019 Bobby Romano Scholarship sponsored by the Monroe May PTA. It's for $1,000 towards tuition, fees, books, payable to your institution of your choice. The deadline for applications will be April 1st. Finally, let's give our Bears basketball team a big shout out for taking their 13-game winning streak against Lake Travis and not going down without a fight. They faced off at Canyon Lake High School in a double overtime game Friday night. <clears throat> like a version of Groundhog Day, the once more the Varsity Bears fell to the Lake Travis Cavaliers. It was close, 58 to 56. Great season, Bears. Well, this is all we have for today. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at BTV Bears. And if you missed any part of this broadcast, you can catch us on YouTube by searching on BTV Bears. We also have a link on the Brandon website. Have a great day, Bears. And remember, only three until the six weeks ends this Friday. BTV, 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 BTV.